The board I'm using is canvas and it's about 24 by 18 inches. I have a few colours here ready. Violet, Prussian blue, orange, raw sienna, viridian green and warm yellow. You can use whatever colours you wish. I'll start by squirting the board because I've had a lot of trouble with my paint drawing. I'm working with acrylic paint and sometimes it dries very quickly. We're working on a sunset and we need a bright colour to represent the sunlight. Raw sienna is not the brightest yellow, but it will produce a very bright sunset colour. I'm using about a size 12 flat hog bristle brush and I'll layer the white over the top of the raw sienna. Don't brush it and brush it until there's nothing left. Leave your fresh colours one on top of the other. When you step back, it'll look very bright. Then I'll add some violet. Keep it in the top of the sky. You can't come down into the white now. Your brush is too dirty. Add plenty of violet into the top of the sky. Here you might want to use a blue if you don't have a violet. Ultramarine blue looks good here. Crisscross brush stroke because we're working in the top of the sky and then a longer brush stroke as you come down towards the bottom of the sky. Don't block your painting in in squares. Make sure you have the rugged looking brush strokes at the top. You will need to clean your brush regularly. Add more colours as you need them. I like to use Prussian blue in evening skies because Prussian blue is the colour of the night sky. But don't bring it down too far into the raw sienna. Otherwise your raw sienna will start turning green. Keep your brush away from the middle of the painting. I've cleaned the brush well now and I can give us a hint of clouds there. Keep your brush strokes all in the right direction, all going the same way up the board. A few more little clouds. You can leave these out if you wish or put them in. Don't copy my painting. You make yours up as you go along. Here now you'll see how to paint sun's rays coming from behind the horizon line. Just drag them up into the picture and lift your brush off as you go up. Let's put a few more on. We'll put white and raw sienna. Load the board ready and then have a few more rays coming up from behind that horizon line area. Now for the horizon line. Let's use warm yellow and curve it over nicely. You'll notice the warm yellow comes forward and that gives us our background and our foreground effect. Then we can tone it down with some white and then we'll add some viridian green. This is a very strong colour. Just add a little bit and scrub it into your yellow and white. We'll put some green down here and work it up into the painting. In the brush, keep cleaning your brush if it's too dark and then work it up to give us that brilliant green. Now along the bottom with a mixture of the viridian green and the brilliant red, that should go rather brown, but don't come up too high. Keep the darks down here under our feet. And while the paint is still wet with our trusty fan brush, we can brush it up into grass all the time considering that we need to keep little grass in the middle and big grass down at the bottom. It's a good idea to add a little bit of white in this area here just to attract the eye to that area. And your big grass in the foreground overlaps the distant grass. You can vary your brush stroke, dab, 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 and then put it on, push it up and lift it off. Deliberately make this brush stroke. It's not a matter of luck. It's a matter of deliberately making the brush stroke. Bit of red in the corner always looks good. And place some pretty colours on and flash them up into grass. I'll put it on the masking tape and pull it up into the picture. Now we have the opportunity to put a few little flowers in the corners. This is white with a little tint of blue. Well, now it's up to you to put whatever you wish in the picture. You can put a little house there, 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 silhouette of a tree, whatever you wish. I was going to put a tree here. I'll put a tree there and maybe a little house over here. So I'll get my flat brush ready by loading all the dark colours onto the brush, get it saturated with the dark colours. And I'll load a little bit of raw sienna on one side so we'll have some a few tones on the cottage when we put it in. And then where to put it? Now we'll put it right on this horizon line. Just block it in 
a little box and that'll be our first little house there. We can have a bit of shadow underneath it. You can follow my brush strokes or you can make your own little cottage up. Keep it dark but don't use black. Use the dark colours we have here. And don't have it facing out of the picture in this direction. I'll try and change mine around a little bit so it appears to be facing into the picture. It always looks better if your cottage faces into the picture rather than out of the picture. And another one here. Just draw a little box, put a roof on, and a little bit of highlight here and there on it. You don't need much detail on these cottages. They're silhouettes. So I'll put a bit of a red tint on this one using a little bit of crimson just to make it a little bit different than the other one. That's better. And a shadow underneath. Then with my little hairbrush we can paint a fence. I've loaded this brush with two colours, dark and light. And you see the posts get bigger as they come towards us. We can have a shadow of the posts. And a little bit of light shining along the top ridges of the house always looks good. Just that little bit of light. And maybe some rails on our fence. Now don't be too fussy here. Just put them on. Now I want to do a little bit of a track coming down and up the hill to the tree. So I'm using raw sienna. Just with a little brush, put it in with a flat brush stroke. That's our little track. Now let's go to the palette. I'll mix all the dark colours together. Don't let any white get in here and keep away from the raw sienna. Just the dark colours. Don't mix them completely and then I'll pick them up with my size 10 flat hog bristle brush. And with that we'll block in the silhouette of our tree. Now the tree is umbrella shapes all put together into one big umbrella. My tree is not very big yet. You block it in small and then when you want to you can make it bigger. Umbrella and another umbrella, all in one big umbrella shape. Then with a little bit of raw sienna on the very tip of the brush, just put in a little bit of what would look like a bit of sunlight on the top of the tree, just to show a little bit of colour there. And the little soft hairbrush is good to paint in your tree trunk and then let's put a shadow under the tree. And we better put a branch in there to hang our swing off. Now by loading the edge of your painting knife with paint you can draw very fine lines. Then we can put in the fine lines needed for the rope on the swing. Finish the seat and you can put a person sitting on the swing. Just silhouette form. Don't go to too much trouble. Then we touch up the grass around the tree and that's our little swing on the tree. I might put a little bit of colour on the person. Don't detail it too much. Now seeing we have red on the person's shirt, let's have some red birds. And to correspond with that, we'll have some red on the roof of the house, just along the ridge line, just to balance it out. Now a bit more foliage on the ground. This is very bright. It's white with the littlest bit of blue in. Keep it sloping into the picture. Whatever you do, don't have it sloping out like that. Sloping into the picture. That'll keep your eye travelling into the picture. You see how that bright blue contrasts nicely with a little bit of red on the roof of the house. We'll take our masking tape off and there we have a swing in the sunset.